Hey guys, so I finally want to release the flashing script and source code for the ZBS243 microcontrollers, which are mostly used by Solom in their e-paper shelf labels and are rebranded under the name SEM9110, like you can see here a bit more close up. And this flasher is for once running on an ESP32, has an SPI communication to the um, microcontroller, which is an AT51 core. And here this extra PCB is just used to power cycle the um, microcontroller, as otherwise there is no option to exit the debug mode. This ESL here is a Zigmund ESL, and yeah, I just want to quickly show here an upload of a firmware. And you can also see that the other part is this Python script, which does the communication from the PC to the ESP32. You need to, for once, flash the ESP32 and then can run the Python script or also a pre-compiled Windows Excel file with the given commands I will supply. And yeah, just to now show it being used, I have for once here the command line, which is just yeah, the ZBS S flasher exe. If you run it without any um, arguments, you see that it will list the COM ports, so you can see what the right COM port is. And then I quickly need to look for the correct file name. So I have now supplied the correct file name to flash the um, microcontroller. This is just an example firmware to show how it looks like. And if I now uh, press enter, it will connect to the ZPD or more likely to the ESP32. We'll flash it as you can see. And after it has reached 100%, it will repower the SEM9110, which should be happening now. And you can see it just rebooted and r does run this example firmware. And yeah, I know this is really a very specific topic, but if you ever come across this SEM9110 or ZBS243, uh, you can use it to, for once, read the flash content quite easily and just write the flash content. And yeah, you can find more information at Dimitri's page, which is also linked in the um, GitHub repo to yeah find more in-depth infos and how he reversed the chip as far as it's now and how it makes so simple to work with it. Um, a firmware is not released by now, but maybe in the future we will see more of it. And until then, have a great day.